Yo there, this is Levon Kaysen here, back at it again with another video. So, new Switch hardware was announced today. It wasn't a Switch Pro, it wasn't a Switch OLED Lite, or anything like that. It was a Splatoon 3 Switch OLED model, special edition. And it's supposed to be coming out in August 26 in stores. Now, here is what is interesting. There was a Chinese gamer who leaked that this Nintendo Switch, you know, the Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch OLED model was supposed to be announced today. You know, he has hinted that Nintendo is preparing to reveal a slightly more powerful Nintendo Switch model this September. And, oh lord, here we go again. So, one of the things that he said that Nintendo fans should prepare the dawn of 60 frames per second. And only know so much. This is a rumor, so Nintendo has not mentioned that they are working on a more powerful Nintendo Switch console or anything like that. But here's where I first heard about, you know, N Nintendo is preparing to reveal a slightly more powerful Nintendo Switch model this September. And I heard it from this YouTube video, which the YouTube channel is called Giant Bomb. And Jeb Grubb discusses it, and we're about to play the video right now. Now, here's the problem. Here's, here's the rub. All right. Uh, uh -oh. The rub. <laughs> the Splatoon 3 edition of the Switch OLED was in a previous leak from a Chinese leaker. Okay. On a forum uh, where he mentioned this was going to happen, and right alongside this, they said that a Switch Pro model is also coming Oh, this year. Lord. So, here we uh, go again. Read kind of what I have here. Uh, a leaker on a Chinese forum first revealed the Splatoon 3 OLED model, and that leak said a Switch Pro model was coming this year as well. Uh, and could get announced as early as like later this summer. Uh, this updated model has the, the same Switch logo on the back as previous systems. So the suggestion there is that this is some this isn't some kind of Switch successor. It is still in the same lineage as the Switch system. So it would be just another new model of Switch. Uh, it can reportedly play Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak at 60 frames per second. If you were to play Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak right now on your OLED Switch or Nintendo Switch OG or your Switch Lite, it is at 30 frames per second. So the fact that this slightly more powerful Nintendo Switch Pro, Nintendo Switch 4K, DLSS, or whatever you want to call it, can play Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak at 60 frames per second, it, it, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty cool. It plays the same existing game cards as normal Switch systems, and Leaker speculates, speculates it will get announced in September. Uh, here we are again. Let's just be real, Nintendo fans. Let's just be real. This Switch Pro discussion is not going to stop in 2022. In fact, it'll probably continue on in 2023. So, if you were expecting, you know, these Switch Pro conversations or these Switch Pro videos from Nintendo YouTubers to end and, you know, they don't make another Switch, you know, hardware video until, like, what, late 2023 or early 2024, then you got another thing coming because when you see stuff like this that, you know... A new Switch, a slightly more powerful Nintendo Switch model is supposed to be revealed by Nintendo in September. Like, you guys should know by now that this Switch Pro conversation is, is just going to continue on as the rest of the year goes on. So, who knows? Maybe this uh, new Nintendo Switch or whatever they call it. It could be, you know, revealed in November, in September and then get released on November. Or maybe it could be announced on September and then it get released in March 2023 with Breath of the Wild 2. If anything, 
I'll probably get this slightly more powerful switch, you know, to see what type of, you know, new Tegra chip that he's using and, you know, see, you know, games being ran at 60 frames per second now instead of, you know, staying at a unlocked frame rate at like 40 to 50 frames per second. I I'm curious to see, you know, what boost and enhancement that this slightly, you know, more powerful Nintendo Switch has, but yeah, I'll probably get this, you know, slightly more powerful new Switch model if it gets announced in September, if it does come out in November of this year or March 2023, I'll probably get that Switch. I probably will. Because the reasons why I didn't really, you know, get the Switch OLED or the Switch Lite because... They were just, at the end of the day, when you really think about it, more for, you know, handheld players. And while I do like handheld mode, you know, I do also play on my TV dock. And I would like to see some, you know, improvements slash enhancements when I'm playing my Switch games in dock mode. I would like to see that, you know, whether it's, you know, upscaling or you know, DLSS or something. New Switch model coming September or being announced in September or being released by November. Yeah, guys, the Switch Pro, you know, discussions, conversations, they're not going to stop anytime soon in 2022. They're, they're just not. They're, they are going to continue on even into 2023, like I said. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Nintendo could be announcing a new Switch in September. Do you guys think it'll be released in November or March 2023 with Breath of the Wild? And how powerful do you guys think this slightly, you know, more powerful Nintendo Switch will be? Because Jeff Grubb did say in the video that it was able to run, you know, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak in 60 frames per second. So... I'm thinking it'll probably be, you know, two to four times more powerful. You know, that's what I'm thinking, honestly. But what do you guys think of all this? What do you guys think of Switch Pro, you know, discussion not ending in 2022? What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comment section below of this video. Hope you guys have a good day and peace. So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications, so that way you can be notified for future live on case and tech videos, future live on case and gaming videos, future live on case and live streams, and also other videos that I do, such as, you know, reaction videos and, and things of that nature. Bye.